Agatha All Along Episode 3. Will I be sticking around for Episode 4? Stick around and find out. Oh yeah, there's spoilers in this review, so if you ain't see it yet, go check it out. Agatha All Along Episode 3 was a pretty self-contained episode. It all took place basically in one little set. It's like they're continuing on with the WandaVision theme by having these sets that look like old TV sitcoms. This episode has the witches facing their first trial. They drink some wine and of course it's some type of hallucinogenic poison that they all have to get over. But this serves as a device to give them more backstory. Catherine Hunt continues to be super charming in this show. I don't know. There's just something about her that you just have to love. She plays the character very well. She brings her own life to it and she really is the most enjoyable part of the show still. But that's not to say there isn't other great things here. We do get a lot of backstory on the other characters, and I must say I am kind of interested in the other witches now. The little bit of backstory that they did give makes you want to know more. So I would say this episode has pretty good character development. And judging by a lot of shows that were coming on Disney Plus lately, that is saying a lot. Highlighting each witch's individuality is a good play here because it can help carry the show as we go because you can't just keep depending on Agatha all the time. I do want to note that Jen's outfit in this episode is actually pretty amazing. I don't usually take notice to things like that, but I thought it was a pretty cool outfit. I know in the first two episodes, I said we didn't really get the spookiness that we've seen in the trailer. But going into this episode towards the middle, when the hallucination started, we did start to see how the horror element of this show could work. And I must say, it was done pretty well also. I'm not saying it's the scariest thing or the spookiest thing on TV, but it definitely took a different tone. And I can see how this could go a lot further and actually can be a terrifying show at points. Even though this episode was focused on the witches and their trials, we did get a lot more information on the teen. I must say, this character really is intriguing. His conversation with Jen did give us a tidbit of information about Agatha's possible child that may have been given up for the book of the dead and we even got a name drop for Mephisto which I think everyone is expecting and anticipating at this point I mean we all thought he was supposed to show up in WandaVision so I don't know if they're giving us a red herring and playing with us again but he might be on the way he also mentions that his dad loves the sous vide machine which might be a clue to something usually when he talks about his past his mouth gets all covered up because of the spell and we don't get to know anything about him so I just noticed that and I don't know if it's going to play on anything later, but just keep that in the back of your mind. Unfortunately, we don't get any Aubrey Plaza in this episode, which is unfortunate for me because I actually enjoyed her in the other episodes. We really don't get a lot of new characters introduced in this. During the hallucinations, we get little tidbits of people who may be important to some of the witches' lives, but nothing we could really build or get anything or put a finger on yet. The episode progressed pretty much what we expect with Agatha still trying to get over on the girls all the time and them still trying to find camaraderie. But in it, we do get Sharon's death or apparent death. Of course, this is a Marvel show and it's a show about magic and witches. I like to think that there's a lot more going on with Sharon than meets the eye. I don't know if she's really dead. What do you guys think? Do you think she's out of here? Or do you think there's a lot more at play? Also, who or what do you think the teen is at this point? I heard some spoilers of things that may be true, but I'm not going to say them here. If you want to look for them, look for them. Because I don't know, but I wish I didn't read them. I hope that's not the case, or maybe it is the case. But will I be checking out episode four? Absolutely. Although this episode wasn't action-packed or didn't bring anything super crazy, I think it was a good character development episode and just enough to hold me along to see what happens next. So I got the all along episode four. I'm definitely in for four. I'm very surprised at this show so far. I didn't think I would like it at all, and I'm kind of enjoying it, so... See you guys next time. Like and subscribe if you can.